At the tip of Africa, in the sunny wine country of South Africa, lies the pretty twin towns of Ribic West and Ribic Castile. In this fertile valley, you'll find lush vineyards, rolling wheat fields, and olive groves. Artists flock here for its beautiful scenery, tourists for its delicious country dining, and locals for its relaxed ambiance. And here, in the shadow of the Castilberg mountain, you'll discover one of the oldest wine cellars in the Swat. Good morning, Primora, Tumela. Welcome to the big cellars in the heart of the Swatan wine region. Today I would like you to taste with me our new range of wine created in partnership with uh, Watworth Breweries from Bocha, England. The Chalk Horse range of wines are exclusively produced for Watworth around the world. When I was asked to submit wine for the range, my choice was easy. As like the world famous Chalk Horses of Bocha, Lipic Salad is known for its acclaimed production of Shiraz and Chenin Blanc wines. Here at Ribeck, we are proud to have been accredited to carry the BWI and the IPW marks on our wines. These marks are given in recognition to our growers who work in harmony with nature and ensure the region's sustainability. After the talking, let's taste some of our wines. The first one will be uh, the Chenin Blanc. Uh, this is the most popular wine uh, in the range and as with all Chenin Blancs from the Swatland region we are proud to present this wine with the lovely colour which is a, a sign of uh, high quality and then the aroma of tropical fruit makes this uh, very interesting wine to drink and if you take the mouthfeel swirl a little bit and uh, the length of the wine and the balance of the wine and all that beautiful, beautiful tropical fruit. That's what we like in our Chenin Blancs. Cheers. Okay, the second one that we have in this range is the Shira. Uh, let's try this one. While I'm pouring, I'm having a look at the color again. Beautiful, deep red colors, typical of our region. And uh, just have a look at this in the glass. Beautifully lively color. Smell of spice and a little bit peppery red fruit all in the nose. Makes a beautiful combination of fruit. And then the proof of the pudding always in the taste. Mm -hmm. That red fruit uh, flavors carry through. And there's a there's something in this wine that makes one hungry. There's this beautiful, beautiful balance. I think with all the fruity taste and a little bit of um, of influence by some French oak that makes this wine. Thank you for joining me briefly at the sales. And please feel free to contact the sales team of uh, what were for any information on the wines. And if you are ever in South Africa, please come and share a glass of wine with us.